Well, I got three questions I'm reviewing. The rest is your time. Uh, so here we go. And you guys don't worry about the little uh, labels I put around here. You guys go by 12s. That's where you roll. That's where you live. All right. Pot negative pi over 12. What are we multiplying by? Six. Multiply it by six. So I'm actually asking you to graph negative four, negative six pi over 12. I picked this one on purpose. If it's negatives, the degree is negative. Start counting clockwise, clockwise. All right. So negative six clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Here's my angle. I do not expect you to draw it in tomorrow. I'm not going to have you get, that's not part of the quiz. It's drawing angles. It's finding the points. What do you notice about your R value? Negative. Negative. So what do we do if it's negative? Other, Other direction. Done. So here would be that point I am looking for right there. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. It is at two. One, two, three. There you go. Four. Thank you. Okay. Some of you could probably already just look at that and tell me what the X, Y coordinate is. But if not, it might not happen that easy tomorrow. You have two formulas you're responsible for. Two. And that's it. And they're similar to each other. How do you find the X coordinate? R cosine of the angle. Please, please, I can't help you tomorrow. Make sure you are in the right mode. Your angle is in what units now? Radians. So get your calculator get calculator in radians. How do you do that? Mode, mode button. button. Mode button. Cosine. Somebody asked a good question in my first period class. Does it matter if you use the original or the over the 12? Nope. As long as you did the over the 12 part, right? All right. So it does not matter which one you use. So this X should have been what? Zero. When I plug it, I forgot. Sorry. I forgot my, uh, <coughs> forgot my negative four. And you should get an X coordinate of zero. And then what, how do you find the Y coordinate? R sine, R sine theta. Yep. Or R sine angle, whatever you prefer to use. Just make sure your calculator's in the right mode tomorrow. Uh, negative four sine. And what do we get for here? Four, I hope. Y coordinate of four. So zero, four, and that's exactly what that polar point looks like. Any issues there? Plotting or getting, because I'm not worried about that at all. If you remember the formulas, you're fine. I'm not going to get fancy. All right, this next part is where I'm worried about tomorrow. It probably is as tough as it's going to get. Given a point, find me another point that lands in the same spot. Okay, lands in the same spot. This one, this one's pretty tough. I love it because I give you a couple of requirements. So let me go through this slowly before you start doing them on your own. There's two parts to this. Part A, I want a point where your R value has to be positive. And your angle has to be between 0 and negative 2 pi. That's a fancy way of me saying whatever angle here, it should be negative. So I'm going to force you to think, how can I get my angle to be negative? So every part A answer here, 7, 8, and 9, your R value should be positive and your angle should be negative. For part B, I'm flipping the script. I want your R value negative, but your angle to be positive. That's the combinations I want. Not whatever you want. Those are the combinations I need for parts A and B. So let's go over number seven together so we can see how this is done. Everyone see my original point, three pi over six. Part A, I want an R value of, that's positive. Do I got to do a darn thing? Yeah. It's already positive. Here's what we got to remember. If I keep the R value the same, what do I add and subtract onto my angle? 362 pi. 
if I keep the R value exactly the same. Now, I don't have to do both here, add and subtract 2 pi. What did I ask you about your angle? It's got to be? So does that make sense if I add it on 2 pi? Thank you. So I'm just going to subtract 2 pi. And I'm hoping you guys can handle this from here. If some of you out there turn it into degrees, fine. Make sure that thing's back in radians at the end. But I think you guys can handle pi over 6 minus 2 pi at this point in the unit. We okay there? Yeah. I'll let you finish that in a little bit. What do I need to know about the R value in part B? It's got to be negative. So now 3 is going to go to negative 3. I change the sign. I change the sign. So now what do I add on to my angle? Pi or 180. All right. You think about what do I need to add on to pi or subtract? Do I need to add or subtract here if my angle's got to be positive? Add pi now. Because if I subtract pi, I'm going to get a negative angle. I got good news, though, for you. You can handle this. Tomorrow's a piece of cake. Why? I don't care what the point is tomorrow. I don't give you any, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Criteria tomorrow. I'm just going to say, give me a point that's just like this. I don't care what the R value is or the angle tomorrow. Okay, so if you can handle these restrictions, I don't have any tomorrow. You do what you want tomorrow. Okay? All good there? Okay, I'll let you go there in a second. One last thing that'll be on there tomorrow is this whole co-terminal business. No, there's no reference angles. Not even on there tomorrow. Don't mention it. Not even on there until quiz two. Co-terminal means same side. I need an angle with the same side. So in a nutshell, what am I asking you to do in parts A, B, and C every time? Um, add Add three, add or subtract what? Pi. Well, well, pi is 180. That's going to be a totally different angle. 360 if I'm in degrees or 2 pi if I'm in radians. That's a coterminal angle. I go all the way around in both directions. And that's all I'm going to ask you tomorrow. No reference angles. No angle in a certain quadrant. We'll worry about that come quiz two. Questions? Anything? Get your Chromebooks out. Get your Chromebooks out. I need that plug back in at the end because that's not one of mine. That's a student's. Okay. Chromebooks out, open up Google Classroom because that's where you're going to find the answer key. And just as a challenge, whoever tells, I don't care what tells me first, there's a mistake on the answer key. So let me know when you get when you get there. Okay, call me out when you get there. All right, let's roll. Here we go. Get going on. I don't need, I don't need, hey, I don't need to see this when you're done. It, the answers are all up there. Okay, they're all up on classroom. I don't need to see it when you're done. 